So this is our sample that we've removed the magnetite. So I'm going to do one last pan, but I want to reiterate everything we've gone through. So the pan is clean, no oils. The water has two drops of soap in it in the bucket. When we first start, we start really aggressive. We use our fingers back and forth to keep the whole sample liquefied. Then as the sample gets smaller, we go less aggressive. We're very careful to do just really short motions and very slow tilt down. And so the motions get smaller and if you're strong enough they get faster. And the longer the distance across the pan, the better separation. So to prove that, this is just after we poured the sample into the pan. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to do this pass and we're going to go turn the pan 180 degrees and you'll see the difference. So you can just see the heavies in the back. You can see some of the zircon and what, what else, you know, possibly appetite. Hopefully some rutil, small garnet. So we're stopping before it gets to the end of the pan. Now you can see that our lights and our course start here and they go forward, but you also want to do not scrape that front lip. So with just your pinky, you're taking off as little as you can. So you can see I went a little too deep. You can see some of the dark spots in there, which shows that our separation is pretty shallow. And so I'm going to go light pour with the water to keep it across the pan there. Get the sand off my pinky. Always keep your sample completely covered with water. So I'll get that stuff off the back there. So this will show you the separation of traveling completely across the pan. So right now most of our heavies are right down there in that little rim. So I'm going to start with the pan tilted back there to keep everything covered with water. So very fast short motions. You can start to see all those heavies staying back. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but they've also kind of folded over now. So they're in the back, but they're kind of folding back into the sample. So that, that shows you why you don't want to scrape too far back and too far front. So right there, I'm going to stop because you can see the heavies folding over the top and coming forward. But you should be able to see the great separation. And so just by looking now, I really only want to scrape that very little bit in the front there. I don't even want to touch back there where it's folded over. Now let me show you a couple different techniques. If, if that motion gets tiring or if the pan's too heavy, there are some other neat techniques you can use. So so pan, samples here started there. We're going to turn 180 degrees. So now you can see all that great mafic heavies that have been left in the pan. So another technique I use is using my wrist to go side to side. But you have to realize that back here there's no motion, up here there's tons of motion. And so that twisting technique can sometimes do a better job depending on how your sample is.
sometimes I'll try this and see what happens. And so my wrist is getting quite tired. But you can see the great separation in the back there. If you don't get good separation, the next trick is to just keep rolling the sample. And so I'll grab the pan and I'll roll the pan. And so now you can see that the sample, the heavies go right, right here. They're not across the back, they're just in this corner at the farthest extent of the roll. So you can do this to get an indefinite length to get good separation. And you can start to see those heavies staying right back there. And this is the part where I'm going to break my rules and tell you that if you don't want that to get put back in the sample, you can actually let it stay dry, submerge it from the water, and that locks it out of the rest of the separation. So you can see now that it stays away from what I'm panning, and that way I don't accidentally add it back into the mix. But I only have one more rotation before I have to do something, or it goes back in the water. Always pour off the front, do your little pinky scrape, and now you can see that we're getting a very good separation. And so, there you be. Thanks for watching.